Welcome back to the second half of this uh, Coca-Cola Zero Dean's final as the ball goes out. Did it go out on the full master recall? What do you reckon? No, it was knocked on by the Arcus player coming in uh, as the uh, um, Lelin team uh, was guilty of uh, ball watching there a little bit. Uh, move. Had that uh, ball uh, gone to hand, uh, it could have been... Um, uh, 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 a good uh, attacking opportunity for Arkes. That's right. Bit of disappointment, missed opportunity, but Leline now back with possession. It was an exciting first half. Game of two halves in the first half, Master Rekula. Leline came out firing, and then Arkes uh, slowly ground them away through to bring themselves back into the game at 8 all as they put the, a lot of pressure on Leline. And yes, I think the line-out didn't go straight. And this is another attacking opportunity for our case. Master Rekula, this game starting to look ominous for Leline. Yes, uh, despite the fact that uh, that line-out uh, wasn't straight. Uh, in the first half, uh, Leline was giving all sorts of nightmares to the RKS uh, line-out. Uh, they haven't been winning any clean balls, uh, this RKS team. And uh, likewise, the uh, scrums also. And uh, the set piece, uh, Lelin is looking uh, a much better organized team. But uh, in broken play, uh, that is where this RKS team is uh, most dangerous move. RKS setting up the scrum. This is a good attacking platform, but the ball spills out. Lelin almost had an opportunity. They missed it. Now RKS back with the ball, cuts against the grain. Make some good yardage simply by going against the line of the attacking team, which is good. Now RK is back with the ball. Very deep pass, gets it behind the game line, manages to break the first tackle. RK is setting themselves up, putting pressure on this Lelin team. They have the advantage. This is what RK is are really good at, slowly grinding away teams and not allowing them to settle into their traditional attacking play. As we see the penalty just outside the 22. Master Akula, RK is are starting to get confidence early in the second half and they're starting to build. Yes, and uh, this is what we saw in the first half. In the first half, they were attacking the Lelin line. And uh, if uh, the Lilina defense does not break uh, early in this uh, second half, uh, we are in for a very, very, very good final uh, move. That's right. Lilina need to be very weary of this RKS team. Every RKS team in this final have one strength, and that is their ability to be patient and build the pieces, build the phases, not allowing teams slowly strangling the life out of the opposition. As RKS take the uh, early opportunity for the three points, it's uh, outside the 22 on your screen right now, Master Kula. And uh, Sireli Mangala, uh, he was going to take the shot, uh, the fly half. Nice high, leak, high kick. I think it uh, looks good and it's through, Master Kula. RKS yes. hit the lead early in the second half. First blood to RKS in the second half and uh, uh, they are now leading uh, Lelin uh, by 11 points uh, to 8. That's right, 11 points to 8. Whatever the halftime talk was in the shed to this uh, RKS team, it certainly worked. They've come out with a different uh, mindset. They've come out with a different outlook on how this game is going to pan out. They've decided to go back to their traditional attacking strengths, which is taking opportunities when they're given. And of course, now uh, Lelin need to be very wary of this RKS team. But there's the mistake that Lelin were looking for inside the RKS half. This is a good, solid opportunity for Lili to get some points. They're just outside the 22 with the advantage for the knock-on. They're about 10 meters short. They need, they need to get some space. The RKS defense has closed up significantly since the first half, not giving as much room to, to Lelin as they did in the first. But a penalty to Lelin. It's tit for tat here in, this, uh, in the early stages of the second half. The exchange between these two finalists, quite impressive, Master Rukula. Yes, and I think uh, Master Tony has uh, done his uh, bit. Uh, the coach for RKS uh, to the RKS players and uh, they're taking their shot. And likewise, the coach for Lilina uh, is also uh, told them to uh, take those opportunities as we see uh, a more tactical uh, approach to the second half move. That's right. I think both coaches have had that uh, had a severe talking to the teams in the sheds during the first half break. This is it. It's the final. You cannot allow um, yourself to miss any opportunities. So Lilin opting for the penalty, going for the three points, trying to lock the score back up again. It's going to be a lot of tit for tat in the second half. Both teams not allowing uh, each other to settle into their attacking rhythm. Chochi Voli is about to take the short uh, move. Yeah, Chochi's had a decent day with the kicking. Let's see how he does. Nice high kick, but it's to the left. The score remains at 11 points to 8. Arkes with an opportunity to relieve pressure. Whoever knows, uh, 
if that uh, miss is going to come back and haunt them towards That's them. That's right. Note that down. If that miss does come back to haunt them, it'll be very disappointing, bitterly disappointing for this Lelian team coming in as favorites in this final. Nice long raking kick. Lelian allowing it to bounce, losing another 10, 15 meters as he takes it up strongly. It's inside the half of RKS. Lelin with possession, the rain eases off, which makes it a bit easier. Crowd says forward pass, and I think the ref agrees. <laughs> that's, the, that's the call uh, when you have uh, about uh, 10 to 1 spectators on the, uh, on the grandstand. That's right. <laughs> There's a, there is a huge amount of support for RKS coming into this final. I mean, it is a historic occasion for this great rugby school. Ratu Gandavu Lever School on the precipice of an unprecedented, unbeaten streak for all grades. This will be another opportunity, another notch on the belt, and they will create history if they do that later on this afternoon in the final game, which is the under-18 final. And, of course, lots of uh, former students, uh, former scholars of RKS have come out to witness this historic event. As RKS decide to go for a long clearing kick down the middle, there wasn't much opportunity for RKS, so they opted for the kick. And now Lilian with the ball, but they're just crossing the halfway line now. A good solid run. He does need to come back inside, but he manages to break the tackle and gets himself inside the 22. Good attacking raid from Lilian and poor defense from RKS on that occasion, Master Rakula. Yes, as we see the forwards for uh, both teams are uh, starting to walk all over across the field. Uh, it's beginning to take its toll uh, this uh, game and uh, it's not only about this physical game movie, it's also a mental game and uh, they have to be aware of the time, they have to be aware of the, the, the position they are in on the ground and also uh, they have to be aware of, uh, of how the uh, opposition is, uh, is, is trying to play out uh, uh, their game move. That's right, you're absolutely right Master Rikul, a lot of hands on hips on the early stages of this uh, second half. Ref blows it up, line out not straight, set piece still an issue for both teams, Master Rukula. Yes, uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, Lelina beginning to play that uh, territorial game uh, in the second half. Uh, but just to let us know uh, uh, something on, on, a, on a technical issue. If uh, this game ends up in a draw, and uh, after the uh, uh, extra time, it's still a draw. <laughs> it's still a draw. Uh, you know, uh, the game could go to Lilin because this they scored the first point and they scored the first try also. I never thought of that. Thank you for that, Master Rukula. That's you know, Master Rukula. That's awesome. You know, you're like the encyclopedia of secondary schools rugby. I'm I'm guessing that you're the kind of person that played secondary schools rugby right from the under tens all the way to the under nineteens. <laughs> um, it's well. still going. <laughs> As we see Lelin with the scrum just outside the RKS 22. Bit of pressure coming in from RKS. Lelin did well to get the ball out early. They would have lost possession otherwise. This strong running center for Lelin still trying to lead by example. Takes the ball up strongly, but the RKS defense up to his attacking prowess. Not allowing a lot of yardage to be gained. And they have the ball. They've ripped it away from the tackle. Good technique shown by RKS, but a fumble from the halfback puts him under tremendous pressure. And that was just a little bit too eager from the Lelin defense master Rakula with that high shot allowing RKS to relieve pressure. And I think the RKS player was uh, sleeping uh, uh, at the same time and uh, <laughs> unfortunate for that uh, tackle from the Lelin uh, player. But uh, now the referee wants to go and uh, have a look at the video. Yeah, I think it was uh, exactly how you called it. The RKS, uh, the RKS player was slipping as he was taking the ball. And unfortunately, the, the tackle did go above the shoulder. I reckon probably just a penalty only uh, would be more than enough for Lelin um, at this stage. And it'll be a good opportunity for RKS to relieve pressure as the referee uh, makes sure that the tackle was, in fact, just accidental. There was nothing malicious in it. Has a review, talks to the TMO, talks to the linesman. And I think it's going to be a card. It's Much a to my harsh. surprise. A bit harsh. A <laughs> little bit harsh, but like you said, zero tolerance for infringements in the Coca-Cola Zero Deans final. And this changes the landscape completely of how this final will be played for the next seven minutes as RKS have a one-man advantage for the next seven minutes. Uh, Leline losing a key player. Uh, goes and takes his seat on the naughty chair. That's right there. Blindside flanker has been sent off for a dangerous tackle. It's a yellow card. 
And now RKS with a good long raking clearing kick taking it up to the halfway as we have a look at the replay. Yes, he was slipping but the ref said no. It looked a little bit more malicious than we had expected. And now seven minutes. How does this change the landscape of this final Master Akula? Well, uh, the, the, the scrum, uh, that's one area where uh, Lilini has been uh, uh, both uh, dominating and in the line out. Uh, as you can see, uh, Arkes are beginning to, straight from that, uh, they are beginning to win those uh, line out balls. Uh, that is one, uh, <laughs> one effect of uh, a player going out move. That's right. Oh, but unfortunately. He knows what he's doing move. Bit of ball <laughs> watching on that occasion. Missed opportunity. Lilini to take as long as humanly possible to set this scrum. As the ref has a talking to to one of the RKS players, I think there was something being said or there was an issue. I know what uh, Osea Natonga was doing. Move. He, he wanted to intentionally knock that ball forward and uh, make a quick tap. And unfortunately, uh, <laughs> the ref uh, uh, called otherwise and uh, stopped play for a moment there. You know the good thing about refereeing, uh, the the good thing about a refer the referees we have in this Coco Zero Deans rugby is that all of them are school teachers and they all know when they are being conned. Oh, sorry, the majority of them are school teachers, so they know when they're being conned by the students. So uh, they they understand when uh, <laughs> when a student is trying to get a fast one over on them. As we see, RKS with the line out win and of course good solid clean possession, but of course uh, the bouncing ball does make it difficult for them to. Uh, to get on the front foot, the allows Lelin's defense to come back, but it is an advantage knock on to RKS. And it's on the open side. Good, solid running rugby from the prop as uh, RKS take the ball up, get this crowd back into this final. They're just outside the 22, putting Lelin under tremendous pressure. Lelin slow the ball down enough to get their defensive structure set, but uh, RKS still have the ball, even though the tackles are being made from Lelin, they're still making good yardage through the center of the ruck. Now they're on the 22 meter line as they build patiently, opts for the cross field kick. Not a very deep kick, doesn't allow the, the RKS defense uh, to get the RKS attacking players to get in there. And in the end, a line out to Lelin and a bit of a wasted uh, piece of possession, Master Akula. Yes, uh, but uh, they're still gaining ground uh, and uh, at the same time, I've, uh, I've been watching this uh, big crowd from Marquez uh, sitting here in front of us in the, uh, uh, in the grandstand and uh, uh, compared to the other games, uh, they haven't uh, moved an inch. Um, uh, they are still uh, anticipating because uh, they have seen how the first half uh, had went for this game and they know that uh, Lilin is also strong and um, it's uh, good uh, that uh, we have uh, a, an opponent who is really uh, uh, playing up to par move. That's right. Uh, these two teams have been going at hammer and tongs as we reach around the mid, close to the midway point of this second half. Everything to play for in this final. RKS continue on their chase towards history. Lelin trying to be the team that breaks that... Uh, that hold that RKS have over the Deans as RKS take the ball up. There's an overlap. The pass not good on that occasion. Unfortunately, Master Akula, if that last pass had gone to hand, RKS would have had a solid opportunity to score some points, Master Akula. Yes, and they're beginning to uh, have a role in, in the second half. They're beginning to uh, show uh, uh, their, their true style of play and uh, that is uh, spreading the ball wide. And uh, because uh, we have a, a big opponent from the other side in terms of the back line, uh, uh, the Arkes backs are beginning to throw the ball away to try and move uh, those uh, big defenses uh, around. That's right. And of course, a bad mistake from Lilin on that occasion. They didn't get the ball out when they had the penalty. And this allows Arkes to build some more phase, allows them to get back into this game. They decide to opt to flow it through the hands. Ball goes behind, but of course, the momentum there. Strong, solid run from RKS. They get into the 22. Lelin under tremendous pressure here. RKS starting to go about. They work with ruthless efficiency as they have the ball. They have possession and they have momentum. Lelin's defense is uh, needing time to reset. This gives an opportunity for Lelin to reset its defense. Ball coming out of the ruck was a bit slow, but now RKS starting to pick off the runners. Looking for opportunities. Trying to find the gap, trying to build the phases, using their slightly bigger forwards to their advantage. RKS not committing too many to the ruck as they have the ball on the open side. Defense from Lelin is there, but they have that ability to break the first tackle as they did in the first half. RKS, they're about five meters from the try line, and I think the ball has been lost, but ref says penalty, Master Akula. Yes, uh, hands in the ruck, and uh, when you're not on your feet, you're not allowed to touch those balls. And, uh, or even play with the ball and uh, that's what uh, the Lilin defenders uh, did 
and um, <laughs> that's why uh, we have this penalty to RKS. Uh, but again, RKS, if you notice, uh, the second half, they're coming in and uh, they are running at the gap. Uh, they are no longer running uh, for the man move. Yeah, I think the the coaching team for RKS had a really good talk to the team while in the shed in the first half. And uh, unfortunately, that's another lost opportunity for RKS. They lost the ball in the first phase of the tackle. And this allows Lelin to clear the possession. They look for space on the open side. There's a bit of a gap there. It's one-on-one -on -one with the winger. He guns it down the field. He's going. But unfortunately, Master Rakula, you said uh, he was out? Or what happened? Uh, it was a forward pass according to oh, the... Oh, uh, man, that was disappointing. Lelin had... Uh, had broken the play and they were in open space with an opportunity to score but the ref said no it was a forward pass so we'll come back for the scrum disappointment for Lilin, relief for RKS but that's how dangerous this back line for Lilin is Master Akula yes uh, they're big and they're fast uh, and uh, at the same time uh, <coughs> again uh, uh, that call uh, could have been missed by the uh, referee but uh, you know when you have that number in the spectators, um, those little things uh, cannot be missed. That's right. There's about uh, 3,800 referees on the embankment side, all wearing the RKS supporters' jerseys as RKS and Lelin uh, settle for this scrum. Lelin getting some fresh legs onto the field. Good time. Uh, they need to get some fresh legs on there because they've been under a lot of pressure from this RKS attack. RKS, as usual, ruthless, efficient, calculating, and they don't muck around with opportunities. Lelin Scrum will be under a lot of pressure from Arcas. The big push coming through. They get the ball through the tight head. And this is an opportunity for Arcas to score. He reaches over, gets the ball on the ground. And yes, it is a try to Arcas. Those long hands reaching out over the try line. This gentleman from Arcas doing extremely well to uh, break the first tackle and reach over for the try. Master Rakula. Tony Tani Nasila Sila. But uh, the man on the screen is uh, Alivari Tiloloa. That's right, a good take and try. Gets congratulations from his teammates. Very smart work from this open side flanker from RKS. Sensing the opportunity. The defense for Lilin was a bit skinny as the ref has a look to see. Um, uh, we have a quick look at the replay. He's running there from number eight. Reaches out, defense not there and plants the ball right on the try line. It's a five-pointer for RKS. Try given by the referee. And Masarakula RKS starting to rebuild from the from an impressive first half, and now they've taken the game by the scruff of its neck. Yes, and uh, Merv, uh, as you mentioned, uh, a good time to make a change, but uh, at the same time, they were replacing a prop uh, in uh, in in a very very uh, crucial uh, place to have a scrum and uh, a prop, and also uh, looks like uh, one of their uh, their flankers, and uh, that made uh, the shift in the power and uh, they were not ready uh, and uh, they could not contain that uh, shove from uh, RKS. It was a tight head uh, move. That's right. It was an awesome tight head from RKS to win the ball back as the um, numerous RKS uh, supporters in the stadium start to break out in song. Um, some in celebration, some in relief as RKS. Uh, <laughs> more in relief. <laughs> more in relief as they, as they allow a bit of space between them and Lilian in this closely contested final. The coaching team for Lilian will be ruining that lost opportunity to, uh, to get props in at the wrong time. As, as you said, Master Rikul is the conversion bounces off the post. Unfortunately, did not come around. And that leaves the score at 16 points to 8. And now the mountain is a little bit higher for Lilin as we have another look at the replay. It was a tight head like you mentioned, Master Akula. And of course, this uh, open side flanker playing at number 8. Perfect position for him. Reaches out and scores a try. Much to the satisfaction of the RKS fans, Master Akula. Yes, as we see them uh, beginning to sing and dance, uh, I had mentioned a little bit earlier how they were sitting uh, quietly still uh, uh, when uh, nothing was uh, uh, happening for RKS uh, move. That's right. They were really on the edge of their seats and this will make them even a bit more nervous. That was a lost opportunity by RKS to get clean possession and clear the ball. There's a knock-on from RKS. That is the 22-meter line that, uh, that, uh, that Lelina in now. And this will be a good opportunity for Lelina to build a bit more pressure, get back on the scoreboard build themselves in the in the hot zone and get a bit of confidence, but they need to win the scrum first. The last scrum from uh, Lilin wasn't as impressive. 
As our coverage coming to you thanks to Crest 5x5 and of course McDonald's. I'm loving it. Peel off from the base of the scrum by this impressive Lelene number 8 who's had a good game. Takes the ball up about 10 meters. They're on the front foot but of course possession is lost. Sloppy clearance from the Lelene team and Masarakula. That mistake comes directly as a result of Lelene not putting enough players into the ruck to, to, uh, to stop RKS from spoiling possession. Yes, uh, when you are moving uh, like that, uh, especially when you are moving inside uh, your opposition's territory, in inside the 22, expect uh, their defense to be uh, their most thickest. And when you put up uh, a player running alone like that, uh, it creates a lot of uh, uh, problems for you uh, because uh, they will get the numbers in. Uh, that's one thing for sure. Move. That's right. As uh, RKS. Uh have an opportunity to clear the scrum. They push, push strongly. Their scrum starting to really dominate the uh, latter exchange of this second half. Clearing the ball. There's an injured RKS player just behind the base of that ruck as he opts for the high floater. Good clearance kick, but I think it's... Uh, yes, that's right. He was inside the 22. Good call from the linesman. Takes the ball up to around the halfway mark as uh, medical team gets on to attend to the injured RKS player. That's mainly to need the tight end prop uh, for RKS. Uh, I think he's been running around uh, all over the field. Uh, <laughs> if yes. I can remember just uh, a couple of faces uh, earlier, he was uh, running, gunning down the uh, sideline. Yeah, yeah, he's had a very good game. Very impressive, very mobile, very agile. Is uh, They have to take a break for the injury because he cannot participate in the line out. Uh, like you said, Master Akula, all games are based on running time regardless of injury. But uh, the referees, I mean, you know, when... A key component of the lineout is not there. They got to take a break. Yes, uh, they got to take a break. And uh, just uh, some figures for our figures, man. Yes, right. Some uh, some figures that you mentioned, Master Akula. Sorry, what is that? Um, uh, we have uh, four doctors uh, who are here, and also four nurses, four registered doctors, four registered nurses uh, who are here this afternoon. Uh, um, uh, uh, they are here to officiate uh, in this. Uh, <laughs> uh, Fiji Secondary School's uh, Rugby Union uh, Dean's competition. Yeah, you got to get the best of the best for such an important game as the medical team. Take no chances, take no risks. Get the get the golf caddy out there to get him off the field, get him uh, checked up. He'll be bitterly disappointed. He's not able to participate uh, in any for any other way in this final because he was having a really good game. And this will also hurt RKS as they go into the final quarter of the second half. He's been one of their go-to players. He's been a mainstay in the RKS scrum for this team. And it's a big, big loss for RKS for the remainder of this match. As you can see, bitterly disappointed uh, with this injury that prevents him from participating in any further way in this game, Master Kula. Yes, uh, uh, and at the same time, you see the introduction of uh, uh, Sakusa Rambila who is in JC number 17 for RKS move. That's right. Now Lilin with the ball. They're near the halfway and they need to get on the board quickly. They're running out of time, Lilin. Good, solid, aggressive defense from RKS. But Lilin still managed to get the ball going forward. They have possession. They have momentum. And they're building the phases strongly. They need to go past uh, phase number five in order to be uh, a serious contender to make sure that this uh, they get some something out of this phase as they take it near the halfway once again. Opting for the one-off runners to crash through the RKS defense, which has worked well for them in the first half. But of course, they need the ball. Ref says play on. Ball went backwards. Good song defense, but RKS, uh, RKS are there. The defenders managed to crab across the field very effectively. And now Lilin still with the ball. This is broken play. This is how Lilin likes to play their rugby. But RKS defense has gotten very confident in the second half as they've built their lead. And their tackling has been aggressive and very, very effective in the second half, not allowing Lilin the space they were given in the first. Ref keeping a close eye. Lilin fighting for possession as well as RKS. They haven't had much uh, opportunity to gain ground. Lilin back with the ball. Still opting for the one-off runners, looking for the offload. Good offload, but the defense gets their RKS in numbers, preventing Lelene from getting the ball. Lelene still with possession, taking it up, uh, one-off runners through the forwards. Master Akula, this, uh, this tactic Lelene is opting for hasn't really uh, been as effective as it did in the first half. Yes, uh, now they're beginning to run the ball around. Uh, something they should have done uh, earlier in the match, uh, move. And it's, uh, if you look at it, uh, they're beginning to gain uh, at least 20 meters uh, from uh, where they started. That's right, building it slowly. They need to keep the ball away from the forwards of uh, RKS. These RKS forwards are very aggressive and they're very smart at picking you off. 
good good take from the from the uh, prop for Lelin. would have been a very difficult pass now he breaks through the first tackle this is the opportunity Lelin were looking for taking it up slowly they've gained about like you said Masrakula 20 meters in the last few phases RKS putting on the putting on the pressure but Lelin Still having the bill, bill, and of course, breaking the first second. Still gunning it for the try line. Master <laughs> Akula, impressive stuff from the player you picked in the first half as a player to watch for Lilin. Yes, Etunia Durungalo Bainivalu. That's a sure try move. That's a sure try. Good uh, center strike. He's big, he's strong, and he's fast. And uh, he was able to uh, carry at least uh, two uh, Arceus players over to the try line. Plus, he's got a pretty impressive haircut to boot as well. This awesome <laughs> player from Lelin carrying three defenders over on the try line of the far side. Ref wants to have a look to make sure that it's uh, good to go. And from the celebrations we see as we have a look at the replay, I think it's, like you said, Masarikula, look at this. Three tacklers, breaks the first, the second, the third, pushes off the fourth and doesn't allow the fifth. Five tackles that were broken in that phase of play by the one runner and the try given to this gentleman on the screen now, Master Akula. Yes, uh, that's a Seta Tamunivalu cut and he's taking a leave from uh, Seta Tamunivalu. He's also an ex-Lilin player and uh, who is here, uh, who has been impressive uh, with the Crusaders in the final against Lions uh, just uh, uh, last week, is it? Uh, I think so. Don't even talk about it. <laughs> I have nothing to say. You must be a cheater. Yes, I was. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to this one as we see the uh, conversion to be taken by Lilin, trying to get them back into this game. It's now 16 points to 13. He needs to get this kick over to close the gap to one. As we see the, the uh, fans of RKS trying to psych him out. It's a tough one, one of the toughest kicks he's taken all game. It's high, it's long, but he doesn't have the direction and the score stays at 16 points to 13, Master Rekula. Yes, and uh, again, uh, that big crowd uh, for Arceus is again uh, set down. They are quite again <laughs> as the game uh, is again uh, on a three-point uh, difference. And uh, they are really nervous because uh, if anything happens here, if Lelian scores another try, uh, they are sensing uh, uh, that uh, it could uh, turn around the game. Uh, move. Yeah, I completely agree with you. RKS were cruising along nicely, getting through their phases, starting to dominate. Their set-piece play was working, and then out of nowhere, Lelin snatched back an opportunity, and they're only three points away from locking this game up. As the RKS defense comes back strongly, trying to uh, disrupt possession for Lelin, keep Lelin pinned down in their own half. Lelin have decided to oh, run with the ball at every opportunity. This is that impressive play again from Lelin. Takes another two tackles to break him, but unfortunately, I think it's out and it will be an RKS scrum on the halfway. Yes, uh, now it's uh, a line out to RKS. And uh, again, uh, RKS will need to capitalize from here. They will need to play territory here. Otherwise, uh, the way Lelin is playing, uh, they're beginning to uh, notice that uh, uh, their inside backs and also uh, their loose forwards are a little bit uh, bigger than the RKS players. That's where they are attacking most. They are taking the fringes of the um, ruck and uh, when the ball goes out, they are giving it to their go-to men uh, and uh, uh, their center uh, in, the, in the form of Etunia Ndurungalo who makes those uh, break uh, move. As we see the line out not going straight and Lelin uh, getting the advantage with the put into the scrum. The RKS fans in the background not happy with that phase of play but it wasn't straight at all. <coughs> And now Arceus with the scrum near the halfway line and another opportunity to build some pressure on this uh, Lilin defense. Ref has a chat to the players and they're opting for another line out. So this will be a Lilin throw to this line out. Near the halfway, Lilin know I think that their scrum is not as effective as it was in the first half, Master Akula. No, it hasn't, and, uh, but the line-out is functioning well. That's right. That was a good taken line-out from Lelin on that occasion, going for the crash ball. Both players come out second best on that occasion as Lelin still have possession on the halfway line. RKS defense gets there, stops them from making any yardage. This is where RKS are very good at the ruck, making it difficult for teams to get clean possession as the Lelin forwards pile in to try and clear that ruck and get the ball back, taking the ball up one meter at a time, this Lelin team trying to get as much meterage as they can with every tackle. RKS trying to make 
make it difficult for Lilin to get the ball, but that's the 10 meter line of RKS that Lilina at now. Three points the difference. RKS are very aggressive when it comes to the defense, but they need to be very careful, not give away a penalty as Lilin look for the gap. That's a nice offload, and there's a break. There we go. Lilina back with possession. It's the 22 meter line now. RKS trying to fight for the ball. The ball comes out. They go for the open side. Lilin trying to build some phase play, trying to put RKS under pressure. There's a lot of gaps on the open side if they take the ball quickly, but RKS are very good at making it difficult for teams to get clean possession. And now that they have to start the phases again, this is an interesting phase of play, Master Rukula. Yes, and uh, Lilin are looking to milk out uh, that penalty in front of the... <laughs> There you go. Just as you said that penalty to RKS for holding on to the ball as the rain comes down in buckets here at the ANZ Stadium. And that's a testament to the RKS defense, Master Akula. Patience, precise and of course extremely effective in the breakdown. Yes, and uh, the way that uh, Lilin uh, is playing, uh, they're looking to uh, go again uh, to that corner. And... Uh, uh, good defense from RKS, but uh, not a good clearance move. That's right. Uh, that'll be, uh, will RKS come back to rue that mistake as they couldn't get the ball out from the penalty. Now the penalty to RKS, Master Akula sealing the ball. The halfback for Lilin couldn't get there in time. And of course, now another opportunity for RKS to go into the half of Lilin. Yes, uh, it is the uh, breakdowns that's killing Lilin at this stage. They're doing everything right except for those uh, uh, breakdowns where they need to clear. We're entering the last five minutes of this final. This is where it gets really dicey. This is where RKS have that awesome ability to close out a game, slowly grinding away, slowly preventing the team, starving the team of possession, not allowing the opposition to gain any front foot ball. And as the rain continues to come down in the last five minutes, it's going to be very difficult for Lilin to get clean, good possession and perhaps build the phases. There's only around four or five minutes left for this one. Arkes with the line out midway between the 10 and the 22. Their line out hasn't functioned at all well today in this final, but on that occasion they do get an opportunity. That's a good tackle from uh, Lilin. Arkes still have the ball. That is the 10 meter. They opt to take the ball down into the territory of Lilin, but that's a bit of a wasted kick, Master Akula. No, uh, they should have uh, kept ball to hand so that uh, they can suck in more defense and uh, try and kill more time. Completely agree with you, but now Lilin with the ball, but they're on the wrong side of the field. They have made a few breakaways early in the game. They know how they have this ability to attack, but that's a good intercept there from RKS. He was looking for the offload, and now RKS with the ball, and unfortunately, Master Akula. Possession lost and now Lilin and RKS play soccer as they try <laughs> to get the possession back and the ref says it's a knock-on, it's a front-on, it's a kick-on, so I think we'll go to a scrum to RKS. <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, as you see the introduction of uh, RKS, uh, uh, RKS's player in the, uh, in the number 18, uh, Jesse Willem uh, Taufa. Uh, as you see the locks for RKS uh, making his way uh, to the uh, bench and also... Uh, in the last passage of play, the weather is beginning to uh, dictate play for these uh, players' move. That's right. It's making it very difficult for uh, clean running rugby. It's getting really sloppy out there. And, of course, the, uh, the greasy ball has made it difficult for both teams to get clean possession as they fight in the scrum, trying to get ascendancy. RKS have had a better scrum in the second half than Lilin. Lilin are aware to that uh, attacking prowess for RKS in terms of their scrum as they try and reset... The referee wants a good, clean uh, scrum. Needs to get the ball out quickly. Time really up against uh, Alilin, really running out of time in this second half as they try to uh, try to uh, get some points on the board. It's 16-13. Arkes still leading by three. And now Arkes with the scrum. Lilin try to push, but the Arkes scrum, as it has been all game, solid. Not allowing RKS any opportunity up for the clearing kick. But of course, the defense gets back there in time. And now Lilin with another opportunity. But it is a... Uh, I think the ref stopped the game for some reason. Yes, uh, a late shot uh, on uh, uh, the uh, RKS uh, inside uh, centre. Oceana Tonga from uh, the Lilin player. That's really going to hurt Lilin in the, in the closing stages of this game. That is so unfortunate. Discipline is so critical in the last minutes of the game. Um, he is lucky to still be on the field in the games that we've watched with this zero tolerance policy that the Coca-Cola Zero Deans rugby has approached towards these championships. Uh, most players will be yellow carded. What do you reckon? 
<laughs> yes, uh, but uh, good refereeing also uh, because uh, uh, if you look at it uh, in uh, when you look at it uh, in uh, replay uh, uh, in real time, it was uh, just a uh, touch and go and uh, unfortunate for that uh, Lilin player. And at the same time, we have seen that uh, Lilin have pulled out the um, open side flank uh, Petro Korunduba, who has been the live wire, replacing him with uh, Lawrence Rayawa. Now RK is with another opportunity to chew up the clock and of course get some more points on the board. That's Tosu Ambola, the fullback for Arkes. That's right, his first kick of the day. Let's see how he does. As we hear the groan from the crowd signaling that that wasn't uh, a successful attempt from the number 15 from Arkes. Keeps Lilin in the game, but they're on the wrong half of the field. They'll need to win the 22 very quickly because they are really running out of time. And of course, their discipline very important as we look once again. There was a late shot on the RKS player from Lilin. And yes, you were right. It was just a nudge. No need for the yellow card. Good call there, Master Rakula, as we have the 22 from Lilin. They need to win this ball very, very quickly. Opts for the long, raking, high 22 dropout. RKS get the ball near the 10-meter line, takes it up strongly. They're inside the 10-meter line of, uh, of Lilin, but it looks like Lilin have got the ball back. They need to be patient. The advantage they have, and of course, possession. They're near the halfway, but they need to build their phases slowly. Be patient. Opting to flow it through the hands, and there's the mistake that uh, RKS were looking for, Master Akula. And this really is uh, going to make it difficult for Lelin to win the scrum and get back possession as we wind down this final. Yes, uh, it's going to make it really difficult. With the rain coming down, uh, whoever is going to play uh, territorially, whoever is going to have a more tactical kicking, uh, will uh, most likely uh, gain the ground and also uh, uh, get the victory this afternoon. Uh, Arkeas needs to play that uh, tactical uh, game, whereas uh, Lelin, they will need to keep uh, ball to hand in order to uh, try and uh, get any closer to the Arkeas trail line move. That's right, as uh, ref stops time to uh, attend to this injured Arkeas player. Weather conditions really deteriorating here at the ANZ Stadium. It's going to be difficult for Lilin to get clean possession. As RKS, Master Akula, if they win this, will continue on the historic march to an unprecedented, uh, undefeated winning streak in Coca Cola Zero Deans for all grades. Yes, uh, they are. And uh, at the moment, uh, Lilin. And uh, Kivias is standing in the way. Lelin in the form of this uh, team that's playing right now and the under-19, which is coming up uh, next. And also Kivias in the form of the under-18 team. That's right. They're knocking on the door, RKS of history. Something that they've, um, that no other school in secondary schools rugby has been able to achieve. As the umbrellas come out in full effect here at the ANZ Stadium. Rain continues to hammer down. Lelin's back is on the wall. They need to uh, get possession back very quickly. They really are up against it here. The clock is running out. And they're, l they're running out on opportunities to uh, get back into this one. They need three points in a hurry. Five if they can. Last year, Kivius uh, won uh, four grades. Uh, and the 14, 15, 17 and 18. And uh, this year, uh, Arkeas... Uh, is looking to do uh, one better and uh, try to win two more grades to clean up uh, the Fiji Secondary School's uh, Rugby Championship. That's right. Lelin decide to flow the ball, get it going, but of course the aggressive, solid, up-front defensive Arkeas is there to meet Lelin at every turn, not allowing Lelin to settle into their work. Opts for the open side. Good, solid uh, defense from there, from Arkeas. Trying to hold up the player. Lelin need to move very quickly, but they also need to be careful of their handling. They need to maintain the field. There's an advantage to Lelin, which is what they needed. RKS, I think uh, Master Rakula were offside on that occasion? Yes, they were offside. And uh, also, uh, they were, were rushing in from, uh, from the side. And uh, again, uh, Lelin, they need, did not need to panic over there. They need to kick for that line out so that they can gain... Uh, as much uh, ground as they can uh, before they can uh, play the line out. That's right, Lelin getting desperate. They're starting to flow the ball at every opportunity. They can't afford mistakes. They need to be extra careful when they have possession. Taking the ball up slowly through the forwards, rumbling it to between the midway of the 22 and the 10 meter. Looking for the gap, breaks the first tackle, but the second defensive line holds. 
not allowing him to get any more yardage RKS defense solid as ever Eileen looking for gaps trying to find those uh, gaps that they did in the first half as the ref says play on the ball went backwards but they've lost a lot of uh, a lot of meterage and now the knock on Master Akula and this is really a testament to the RKS defense in the closing stage of the second half Yes, uh, one drop ball, one knock on, one uh, missed tackle can uh, turn around uh, the result of this game. And uh, it's turning in the favor of uh, RKS at the moment. As we hear the siren in the background, but uh, still uh, we will play this uh, scrum uh, uh, move. That's it, this is it. This is the, uh, the final play of the game as the RKS fans stand up and take a correct collective sigh of relief. The ref just needs to reconfirm that the final whistle has gone because there's such a big crowd here and everybody's cheering and screaming and it's very difficult for the referees to listen but this is the final phase of play. Leline need to get the ball back in a hurry. They need to push like they've never pushed before. RKS have the ball. Take it out. That's it. The clearing kick and here they go raising their hands in victory. The ref blows the final whistle. RKS raised their hand in triumph. Master Rakula and they continued their march towards an unprecedented, undefeated streak in Coca-Cola Zero Dean's Rugby. Yes, uh, two more hurdles to go for and uh, who knows what's going to happen in the next game. But congratulations to RKS at this stage. Yes, and, yes. Uh, good true. game from uh, Lilin also. A uh, very disappointing heartbreak for Lilin as we uh, wind up this coverage. Brought to you by Crest uh, 5x5 promotion at McDonald's. I'm loving it. Absolute heartbreak for Lilin Memorial School. They came so close. They gave it everything and they just fell short at the final hurdle. RKS win it. 16 points to 13. Under 17 rugby. Coca-Cola Zero Deans Rugby Championship right here on my TV.